like a washed up dish rag today yes i do it is saturday it's the beginning of a new vlog and it is the long weekend here in salva and it is currently maybe half past one in the afternoon this is the first time where one o'clock hits on any afternoon in a very long time that i haven't bathed i spent my morning watching tv relaxing watching bad vegan i literally binged watched bad, bad vegan on netflix which is great i hardly suggest i hardly i highly suggest that you watch it um it, it's kind of a swindler kind of situation and really had me thinking quite a bit you know in terms of you know when people get arrested for scamming people and meanwhile the very same person who got arrested was kind of brainwashed by you know like do you arrest do how do you charge somebody who you feel has been brainwashed it was really really interesting um but i need to get on with my day because i've got plans today so i needed just a nice shot of coffee because ugh, i woke up this morning and i had a piece of chicken from nando's <laughs> because I was supposed to have it last night, but I ended up going out to see my family last night. And now today I'm going to be meeting up with my sister and Balesa. And my sister I believe is coming with a friend called Balesa as well. And we're going out for just drinks, gonna hang out, have a good time somewhere. And Balesa is scheduled to get to my house at around three and or past three. We're gonna meet with my sister at around five. So I need to get my life, basically. That's exactly what needs to happen. My lips are dry, I'm parched. It's funny because I say I'm parched, but I've had over three liters of water today. This is what you do when you're about to go drinking. You layer up on water and before the drinking, then you layer up on water again after the drinking because it's going to be a long weekend for me literally a long weekend for me uh got my first paid gig as a content creator this year so that's also really exciting i need to work on that but i'll work on it on monday and you'll see it on my instagram definitely follow my instagram hi everybody did i actually even say hi i don't know my house is a little bit of a tip especially the lounge area because i've been a couch potato all freaking morning so i need to tidy that up and then I need to get my ass upstairs and get ready or just take a shower, tidy up my place a little bit so it looks presentable. So when Balisa arrives, she just doesn't think I'm a little bit of a slob, you know? Um, lips dry, hair a tip. I, I just, I just, just let's leave it. Let's leave that alone. For now, I'm gonna drink my coffee while I decide to tie while I just figure out my life and tidy up. And uh, mm, mm, I need that shot, like, I need that shot that's just like, mm, you know. Um, and then I'm gonna, I think I already know what I'm gonna wear, so that's fine. Need to take that out, then I need to start doing my face, even though Balisa arrives here while i'm getting ready it's fine it's not a problem i just need to take a shower because i smell like yesterday okay <laughs> i remember when i got home yesterday i was wearing this friend's t-shirt and i got to the house and hanya was my little sister I was like oh she gave me a hug and she's like oh you smell nice Kaki. and i'm like really 
And then I'm like, oh yeah, I, yeah, I kind of do. But today, not so much. <laughs> so let's get ready for the day, even though it is already half past one to two. Let's get ready for the afternoon and the festivities of today. Let's do that. Sometimes giving up can make you grow, can make you grow. This is what I do with this thing. I always have this piece of cloth on the sofa with me because a lot of the time when I eat, I eat sitting on the sofa. It's it's wrong. I know I should be eating at the table, but that's neither here nor there because we both know you and I watching all of this. We both know me and you. Okay, we know that a lot of the time we all eat while we're sitting by the couch. So don't judge me. So this sits here so that I can put my plate on it and then I can eat without messing up my sofa. That's how I make sure my sofa is always, even though I've had this baby for about eight years now, I think, it's time to change it, but we're not there yet. But uh, even though I've had it, it still works. It's because I, I maintain. Cause I don't really like what I got So I changed it Bit by bit It's not ungrateful Just being helpful for me and you Cause we gotta go our own way Gotta, gotta go our own way yeah. This was not a good day Gotta, gotta go our own way Cause I do What I do follow na lady this is her hat <laughs> so go on over to na lady's channel you know what i'm saying and then tell her that i got her hat so sister <laughs> so this is what i'm going to be wearing today my leather faux leather pants from zara Again, a bodysuit, the sleeveless black bodysuit, the one that everybody has from Zara. Strapless bra, of course. And then I'm thinking of going with a dark lip today. And then perfume-wise, oh, this is from MAC. This is, uh, this is Dance With Me from MAC, so I'll probably wear this today. And then I can't decide between Tom Ford Soleil Blanc or Gucci Bloom for my scent of the day. So we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out after we, when we dressed and ready and then my gucci sneakers don't come at me sneakers on your bed it's my bed it's my sheets it's my sneakers it's my everything don't do that um sunglasses from eldo i like these ones and if we're going to be seated outside I like to just keep my you know my eyes just shaded up a little bit my bag which i use for everything and that's the fit that's the fit okay so now I am going to jump into the shower and do something really appropriate with my life that does not involve you guys at this point. I am probably going to touch base with you guys when I'm seated in my office getting my makeup done. And then we're going to have a chat. And then Palissa's going to arrive and I'm going to film that. And then we're going to bounce. And then I will shoot from my phone as I normally do. My phone is fully charged. My power banks are fully charged. We're ready for it. We're ready for it. Okay. Okay. Bye. Yeah. Love you. Yeah. Let me go shower. Looking crusty. Gotta go. Bye. So, done. 
out of the shower. Now I need to, <clears throat> I'm so parched. I was in the shower for a while because I was doing lady things, which is shaving and doing all those kinds of things. So I'm supposing the heat, the steam, now I feel very, very thirsty. So before I start my makeup, I'm gonna go downstairs and uh, pour myself a big jug of water. Hydrate folks, hydrate. I've done my hair. As you can see, there's a bit of white on my hair. Uh, I put in a little bit of the Cantu Curling Cream, which is great. Now I'm gonna do my face. I'll do my lips just before we go, but I'm gonna do my face, put on some lashes. I don't even know what lashes I'm gonna put on. Do I even have any lashes? <laughs> anyway, that's fine. Um, so I'm gonna do that now. Can you hear that? Yep. It's been barking like that for the past 15 minutes. So what I'm gonna do is just do my face, play a little bit of a montage, do a clip. I'm wearing my strapless bra. I, let me tell you something. I never thought I would be a strapless bra kind of girl, right? So I've got the top on. I'm so sorry. Okay, the boobs are kind of big, yeah, but it's fine. Anyway, so I've got my top on here and underneath, Yabona, Nancy Braz, Nancy Braz, way too. Now, I never thought I would be a strapless bra kind of girl. But let me tell you, when I wear it, and this top is going to stay on. I'm just going to move these little bits, strapless bits in so that I can wear my uh, uh, Zara uh, bodysuit. But let me tell you, when I have this top on, this top is really tight. It's a hold my body kind of top, right? So when I have it on, it makes the bra even more comfortable. Because I always feel like wearing a strapless bra, it's going to fall off, it's going to slide off. Next thing, my boobs are going to be hanging everywhere and all of that. And I've always felt that way. Even though my strapless bras are from bras and things and they're really, really good. But when I have something on top, just it feels like a bit more support. You know what I'm saying? And it's it's nice. Even from this angle, it looks all right. Yabona. I think I'm about to read a message that's about to piss me off. Oh, oh. <laughs> what are you talking about? I've come down from four to two in the middle. What? Why? What, what? What's happening? Um. Good. Ah, you know Yo. what? I, I'm so sorry. I was on a long call with the boy, and uh, hey, guys, I almost had a disagreement on camera. <laughs> so I'm pretty much done with my face, as you can tell. I just need to put my lashes on. Palissa's on her way, which is also exciting. And uh, I've literally been, I could have done this makeup look in 20 minutes, but because I was on the phone, I was taking my time with it. Naledi's coming with us and I think Naledi might I don't know if Naledi's gonna join us there or she's gonna come to my house and then we're gonna all drive there. I don't know. But uh, should be fun. Should be a nice afternoon out just to go have some drinks and uh, go wind. I don't know wind up I don't know wind up So that's what we're gonna do. I don't have my favorite lashes. A darker, more sultry, wine-colored lip. I think I showed you guys earlier on today. Um, I got so distracted by the call that I got that I... I 
thought I was mad and it turns out that there was really nothing to be mad about and now it's thrown me off of my vlogging I think if you're a content creator you can relate like when you're in the swing of things and then something happens and it completely throws you off and you're just like I don't want to I don't want to content create anymore <laughs> for the rest of the day but it's fine I need to go to uh, my bathroom now and do the gel thing on my hair and then I should be done I'm gonna pour myself a drink and wait for Palisa to arrive I'm only gonna get dressed about 10 minutes before we go because it's really a simple outfit that needs 10 minutes before we go and then I am what else am I gonna do yeah I think that's that's pretty much it and then we will vlog slash record from my phone when we're out but yeah let me throw all the stuff away put my makeup back in the makeup bag and get ready to go downstairs and pull my hey guys i'm back <laughs> yo and i know you could buy let's go Eh, let's go to the hotel. Okay, Mar, is it for the hotel? Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. We will go when you are in for the good evening. It's gonna be a vibe. It's gonna be a vibe. It's gonna be a good time. Hello, good evening, guys. Rastrati, rastrati. Rahosa kali takatarona. For me, kinya na fela. For me, kinya just an hour yeah, to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm having serious. I think so, yes, we're hitting the streets. We're hitting the streets with mm. my girl. Mm. I mean, get long weekend there. Malisa so has not? a few things to say to the people who made comments about her on the last Guys, vlog. Where is it? Why are you going to start the YouTube channel? Because la papa. Why are you going to you've lost weight? Lee Siang. Lee Siang, guess what I'm poor, eh? Hey, Susanna, it's going to be a good one. Guys, why are you going to say that? Let's go, guys. You should tell me how to do it. Let's go, let's go. If you don't comment, you can't wait to see what I'm doing. Yeah, don't do that, Jen. See? You don't do that. You don't do that. Just post yourself. Yes. I'm going to say that I'm going to say that I'm going to say that I'm going to say that. Okay, guys. Sorry, ma'am. Sorry, ma'am. She's a bit hyped up. She's a bit hyped up. She's a bit hyped up. Yeah. On happy juice. I feel like I'm going to say hello. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I'm going to say hello. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I'm going to drive as usual. Maybe I'll continue at the station. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. We're going to the gas station. Yeah. Um, we need to fill up. Okay. To fill up because we're going to the other side of Johannesburg. Ish. The annoyance. Yeah. 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 So, um, hey, uh, guys, I'm so sorry if I'm out of the shot the whole time. Yeah. It is okay, what it, it is. Okay. It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. Yeah. Okay. So the girl is looking. Hella, 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 hella. Yes, sir, guys. Hello, come on over. On the young one, you know, woman, talk over. Woman, talk over. Yeah, yeah. I'll add them to this part of the vlog. Ah, but hope you guys are having a good long weekend. Yes. It's Saturday. We're happy girls. Yes. You know, my mom once said, like, gorgeous, gorgeous girls. My mom was saying, um, remember when you shot that sit down video? Yes. She's like. Please next time you, you do a video, uh, send a shout out to me and your dad. Like to really, yeah. so to the is... parents, <laughs> to our folks for making us. Yeah. Thank you very much. So Thank mom, you so much. Shout out to you, Polly D. <laughs> shout out to you. Shout out to my daddy, <laughs> to my sisters, Betty and Lil. To my fans. <laughs> to my fans. <laughs> He's gonna oh. be so happy. Do you want Papa Okay, guys. Thank um, you. Um, you can contact uh, Dizzy. We are getting oh, gas. Oh, Dizzy. Oh, Dizzy. Oh, Dizzy. Oh, Dizzy. Oh, Dizzy. Huh? Oh, Dizzy. Oh, Dizzy. Oh, Dizzy. Oh, Dizzy. Thank you.
Hi, <laughs> it's the next day from a very, very long weekend. Uh, I'm gonna unpack the stuff. I'm not gonna, you'll see what I unpack. I'm not gonna run you down with um, what I'm taking out and why and this. You already know what I normally get from all these. Uh, it was a long weekend. It's Monday now. My voice is completely gone, and that was because of Gomka last night. But I'll talk to you guys about that shortly afterwards. Um, let me unpack the stuff. I'm so tired. I have got a load of laundry to take out, and I am so tired. <laughs> tired this long weekend was probably one of the best weekends i've had in a very very long time uh i typically don't party i don't go out and i don't party and uh, my sister was like uh yeah no we're not gonna do that this weekend okay we're gonna have a good time so i was out on saturday with my sister palisa palisa another palisa and a lady's friend and we had a really great time um we stayed out till about one two in the morning but yo on our way home on the freeway it was me and my sister my sister was following me from the back and um there was this car on the freeway we overtake i overtook the car first i overtake hmm. i ever took the car first and as soon as I overtook the car, my sister was further behind, but she was there. I could see her in my rear view mirror. And um, as soon as I overtook the car, this car came speeding up behind me. And it was driving fairly slow when I overtook the car. It was like a Hyundai uh, i20. I was driving fairly slow when I overtook the car. And then suddenly it's coming up right fast behind me, right? So I put speed and now I'm thinking this person's either drunk or this person's trying to do something and this is the freeway there's like five lanes or something in that freeway right so he comes right up behind me I come to this lane to the left lane he comes to the le to the left lane behind me I come to the right lane he comes to the right lane this at this point I'm watching my rear view mirror because I'm trying one not this guy to bump me and then that's when I start seeing my sister speeding up behind this guy. Now my sister is just like, nah, you're not going to do that to my sister, no. So my sister comes speeding up behind this guy and flicks her lights. Like flicks, 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 flicks. And this is why I feel like that guy was drunk. Um, he, he suddenly hit the brakes. My sister hit the brakes and his car just started spinning. It spun from the one side of the freeway. All the way to the other side of the freeway and hit the barrier and it was frightening fortunately my sister saw it she braked and she moved to the other lane while this guy was speeding but everybody got home safely 
so please man just don't drink and drive like there's ubers there's all of that but uh, yeah that was frightening then we got home around uh, 1 2 in the morning went straight to bed woke up the following day and uh, my partner and I and Hanya went to the movies uh, my sister wanted to see Encanto Encanto it's an animation movie and we love animation movies my partner and I so we're just like ah let's take her and um, we spent the afternoon as the, I think we spent about five hours with Hanya and then we got home and I literally had about 45 minutes to get, change get dressed uh, do my makeup and then Balisa was on her way back to my place again um, and we went out to Gonka and we had a great time let me tell you something about Gonka ne? and I was speaking to Palisa about Gonka today Gonka is not a place where you can go every weekend bro. Gonka is a groove spot right but Gonka is not the cheapest groove spot to, to party yet it's really not um, but my sister has always wanted me to go out to Gonka with her and because yesterday she was there doing some work for Gonka as well um, she was just like brah I've got two tables let's go come through let's have some fun so I went with my partner and Balesa and uh, my sister was there with her mates as well and she was uh, everybody had a good time like everybody had a good time we had those girls coming up to us with the bottles ah, everybody had a good time um the designated driver was my partner last night because i was just like fam i'm gonna i'm gonna have a couple of drinks you're not okay and um so we had a good time we had a good time at gonka gonka is not the place to party every weekend i feel like gonka is a place where if you really want to groove and you really want to have a good time with your mates go to gonka it's it's amazing it's really really good get there early so you can get a spot inside uh also to park your car inside as well but damn i was so impressed you know when the music is so loud that you can feel it reverberating through your body like it's hitting i had such a good time i did so much dancing this past weekend uh i was just with people i care about it's really hard for me to go out um because of my anxiety and my introversion i will plan to go out and then i never do so my sister balisa my partner were like nah this weekend you're going out hey eh? you're going out hey eh? so that's exactly what we did and uh, we had a great time um my sister didn't even tell me that Questa was performing Questa is a big hip-hop artist in south africa and i love him and Questa and i come from the same hood okay we grew up in k1 we grew up in katlehong hey hey um but i love love Questa. so i was surprised when Questa was playing uh was performing rather when Questa was performing i lost it i screamed i sang along to his music I had the best time at Gonka last night. <sighs> if I could tell you the day that I've had, wild, wild. But uh, I was actually doing some work for my first influencer campaign of 2022. So if you're not following me on Instagram, I suggest you highly follow me on Instagram. I suggest it. I really recommend that you follow me on Instagram. I spent my morning uh, just editing and doing final checks on this campaign and I have to send out uh, just one or two more emails. Today is the next day. It is a work day. I should have been in the office today, but I opted to work from home. So anything that they needed from me so that I could also at the same time produce this content. So really, really excited that it's, it's, it's gone through. They're happy with it. I just need to send out one or two more things and then let's just not break my mic here okay all right either way i was doing my first paid for campaign and it's an instagram campaign for a uh, pillow company and as somebody who loves me home decor and how ironic is it that a couple of months ago I bought new pillows and then I get these memory foam pillows sent to me and uh, sponsored content. And I was just like, uh, yeah, <laughs> of course. 
so I was just uh, finishing up that shooting and I did a couple of reels for Instagram if again you don't follow me on Instagram please do then you'll see you'll see this particular reel uh, so I'm having a glass of iced coffee <laughs> double shot because cha I needed some help today okay I had a bad uh, dream I had a nightmare and um, the nightmare involved a house breaking a home invasion and that is something that I do not appreciate in my life hey uh, I, I fear that it's one of one of the biggest things that I am so fearful for anyway so I was um, I woke up feeling very tired and I had so much work to do but I did it and it is currently two o'clock on the dot in the afternoon. I'm going to call it a day here now. Uh, they don't require anything from me from work for the rest of the day. I am going into work tomorrow. So because I've got some time to kill, I'm going to read my latest novel, which is called The Thursday Murder Club by Richard Osman. Now, I've seen this on some of my favorite uh, book tubers um bookstagrammers and all of that online and i can't wait to read this one uh because it centers around it's like a bit of a cozy mystery and it centers around this group of elderly folk who live in a retirement village and um they meet up once a week to investigate unsolved murders so when a killing takes place at their doorstep they find themselves in the first in the middle of their first live case so this sounds interesting apparently it's also quite funny as well here and there but it's a cozy mystery so it's nothing like a thriller thriller like crazy ridiculous and i'm hoping it's about 380 pages 81 pages so i'm hoping i can read this one this week uh i've stopped reading what happened to you because i just feel like mentally i'm not in the right place to be reading what happened to you so i'm going to also read this in conjunction with love letters of great men which i'm looking forward to reading as well yeah. and before i close it off i wanted to do a little bit of a review of young famous and african because so we yeah, 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 yeah. i loved it okay I absolutely loved it. So it follows, you know, Kanyimbao, Diamond, uh, what's his name? He's a Tanzanian um, rapper, musician. It follows Swanky Perry, Annie, who's the wife of Two Face, who they call Two Baba for what? They call him Two Baba for, I don't know. Um, and uh, Nadia Nakai. Quinty, nee, naked DJ, and his girlfriend, and all of that, and some woman called Zari who happens to have kids with Diamond. Yo, guys, <laughs> give me a sec. Let me tell you, I loved it. I binged watched it in one day. I did not budge from my couch. I was literally just so engrossed in it. I watched it before my weekend festivities started. I, I binged watched it on Friday. And what a wow. Firstly, it's shot tremendously well. It is beautiful. The production, the post-production, the color, the brightness, the resolution, the, it's just beautiful. And I love what Kanyimbao says at the beginning in the first episode where she talks about how she wants to sort of like bring Africa to the world so that people can see that Africa, yes, may be a developing continent with developing nations and all of that, but people in Africa live large too you know there's no just hey, don't don't think of famine and poverty and struggle and this and this every single time you think africa there are people on the african continent in all the different african countries that are actually doing well and um i love how it showcases africa on that platform on that scale that you know what <laughs> and um according to twitter some people didn't quite appreciate that. Uh, definitely people who are not African uh, didn't quite appreciate that. And they were just like, ah, mm, eh, eh. Uh, it's too Westernized. I'm sorry. Who, who are the, who, who depicts what Western is? I, I, I just, the, the people from the West, 
okay so people from developing nations are not supposed to have nice things get out of here please so um i really enjoyed it i loved kanye kanye was real raw authentic i really liked her she was exactly who we know her to be okay she was fantastic i really did not appreciate zari uh, Zari to me seemed like this woman who's just like you know what I'm the boss lady people are jealous of me because I'm pretty and uh, I don't know what her problem with, with me is because I'm just nice and I'm perfect and no she's not uh, there's a very mean girl energy about Zari that I didn't appreciate and the ironic thing is that I loved Diamond yo Diamond Delena <laughs> I really love Diamond and I remember calling my sister and telling her that uh, Diamond looks like someone we know and I enjoyed Diamond. Diamond is just minding his own business. You know, he tried his luck with Nari and Kai and all of that. But uh, Swanky, what? What? Swanky immediately, when I saw Swanky rocking up with his outfits and looking gorgeous and amazing and just looking born, uh, the style was 1,000. I instantly thought of David Lally. I don't know why. I just saw Swanky and I saw David Lally, even though David Lally is more, he's a designer, he's a fashion designer, and Swanky is a stylist. I was just like, okay, yes, Swanky, yes, baby. Um, I really, really enjoyed it. I felt like Zari was a little bit, um, and there was a part of me that just felt bad for Annie, you know? I know that there's a storyline to everything even if it's a reality show and whatever and I feel like Annie probably went on that show to try and show the world who Annie is outside of two baba outside of two face and I really liked and enjoyed to see her softer side where she was talking about her family and her children and um where she got emotional when she was talking about two babas uh what's this indiscretions but at the same time, I felt so sorry for her. Like, I, I felt like, oh, baby girl, you don't deserve this. Nah, two-faced, baby. No, 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 no. She really didn't deserve this, according to me. Um, but I really enjoyed it. I feel like it was shot so well. I feel like there were different parts in which it was shot. You know, there were so many moving parts. And I liked that. I feel like there wasn't a scene that dragged on for too long. And it was just like, ah, oops. And we were just like, ah, no, I, okay, can we move on to the next thing? I enjoyed it. I love the relationship that Naked has with Kanye. It almost seems like they're brother and sister. It's just like, you know, there was a part where they were fighting at Ethos at the restaurant. And um, Naked was saying all these things to Kanye. And Kanye got emotional. And Naked was like, ah, 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 ah. Don't cry here in front of people. Don't do that. Don't do that. And then when Kanye left and then Naked said something and Kanye was like, Tack, and she walked off. I loved it. I love the rapport that they have together. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. Uh, Kaylee, I kind of felt like she just, <clears throat> you know, that's honestly how I felt. I felt like a shame. She's a nice girl, but I don't know how, you know, how she fits into the show. Like, I, I, I didn't quite, I felt like the, the, the people that were picked for the show, I just don't, but the people that were picked for the show, um, have a certain level of, so Kaylee's just chill, do relax, the baby girl, which is something that I like about her, but I don't know how that fits into the show. Um, and then my most disliked character is definitely Andile. I really didn't appreciate Andile. I feel like Andile is dodgy. I feel like he's got mean boy energy vibes. Uh, to try and eat at the table where your so-called friend is eating or has eaten. Because I'm not even sure with Diamond and Zari if they, 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 they claim that they're no longer together. They're just co-parenting. I don't know. It's a little bit too close for comfort. But uh, for him to try and eat where his friend has eaten, nasty, nasty. I really didn't appreciate that. And also to see him invite his two baby mamas to his event. I'm like, Andina, why are you being so weird, bro? Like, hey, no way, nah. what is this? What, 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 eh? Which one is this one? What kind of uh, uh, image are you trying to project here? 
people don't do this which one is this one i found him really really weird i don't know i found him weird and for him to just randomly show up at zari's house and then say to diamond you're like a brother to me and then proceed to tell diamond who you're kicking it with zari say say mulile and mulile mulile why not should just straight to tea yes i just want zari i want to smash i want to do whatever but don't come at diamond and act like hi yeah you're like a brother to me no the wedding venue which was um uh the wedding planner was precious the planner was stunning Oh, this show was shot so well. It depicted Johannesburg, South Africa, man. It depicted it in such a beautiful light. And just the diversity, the color, the mix of the different people from the different countries. Um, Nadia Nakai, I don't necessarily follow her that much. But I thought she was great and she was grand. And she was like, I'll slap a bitch, bro. Like, if somebody tries me, I'm with her on that one. Um, but I felt like she didn't necessarily give Zari a, a plan. She kind of went with what everyone was saying. And then she was just like, she comes up to me. She steps up to me. And then she tried to start some shit when they were at that pajama. Not a pajama party. Uh, the bachelorette party. I don't know how I feel about Nadia. But nevertheless, it's great. I cannot wait for the second season. I really hope they continue and they go forward and they introduce new people. I was so excited to be introduced to Annie and Zari and uh, Diamond and Swanky. I was so I was so excited because I didn't know who they were, um, but now I do. So really, really loved it. Highly recommend that you check it out. I think it's. Um, I think it's a great show. Um, yeah, yeah, that's pretty much it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this here vlog. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna do some reading right now. I'm gonna send out a couple of emails and then do some reading. And uh, relax and prep myself for work tomorrow. And then I will pick up for the next vlog sometime later this week. Until then, I will see you. Bye. See you later, guys. <laughs>